In 2018, nearly 2 million breast cancer cases were diagnosed. Breast cancer is the most common cancer in women worldwide. In both developed and less developed countries alike, it does not discriminate. In 2012, it represented 25% of all cancer diagnoses in women and a whopping 12% of all cancer diagnoses overall. There are around 55,200 new breast cancer cases every year in the UK. That's around 150 every day. In 2018, there was 3,034 deaths from breast cancer in Australia alone. And in 2020, it's expected to be a similar number with 3,031 people dying from breast cancer in Australia. Every year around 11,500 women and 85 men die from breast cancer in the UK. That's nearly 1,000 deaths each month, 31 a day, or one every 45 minutes. Breast cancer is the fourth most common cause of cancer death in the UK. Breast cancer has had its fair share of hitting home in our community. In 2010, on my mother's birthday, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. It hit my family very hard. We did everything we can and stuck together, and thankfully, my mother did get through it with a long, long period of recovery and a lot of turmoil, both physically and mentally. I'm very grateful to say that today my mother's still with us and she's 10 years cancer free as of this past October. But that wasn't the only time breast cancer affected my family. In 2018, my grandmother, my mother's mum, was diagnosed with breast cancer also. My nan living in the middle of country Victoria was isolated and living by herself so thankfully my family all came together and various aunts and uncles including my mother and I took turns going down and staying with her during her recovery and her radiation. Again, also thankfully and very gratefully my nan's still with us today and is two years cancer free. In June of 2019, my mother became one of the many thousands of women diagnosed with breast cancer annually in the UK. My mum, Kathy, was diagnosed with stage 3 breast cancer, and though I don't have the understanding of a doctor, we quickly came to learn that that meant that the cancer had spread to her lymph nodes, and as a result needed aggressive treatment. This was the beginning of a very challenging period in our lives. My common demeanour when life throws these things at me is to make jokes, and to be fair, I did. But I'd be lying if I said that I didn't feel uncertain about this entire thing. Fortunately, due to cancer research, my mother's condition was treatable. And after session after session of chemotherapy, surgery and radiotherapy after the fact, she was well and truly on the mend. Cancer research saved my mother's life. In a way, it saved part of mine too, because I wasn't ready to lose my mum. I don't think I ever will be. But now at least I get to cherish every day I can spend with her, whereas before I might have been guilty of taking it all for granted. Breast cancer affects many people every single day, and I'm very grateful that the two people that I'm so close with that were affected directly by breast cancer are still with me, but not everyone's that lucky. And every day I'm so grateful, and any chance I get I want to give back and do what I can to help support foundations and charities that are giving back and helping those people through the hardest times, whether that be breast cancer research or supporting those people going through breast cancer. Cancer affects so many people's lives, not just those diagnosed, but their families too. And so giving back to the cause that helped save the life of somebody close to me feels like the right thing to do. And I know that we have the means to do it. Across all of our channels being the four pillars, Fishy, Lasers, Tynamite, Longed Fox, as well as Conversations, we're going to be having a long weekend of big stream events to raise hopefully a ton of money for Breast Cancer Research UK. Our goal is to reach a whopping £15,000 for this cause. It's a sum bigger than anything we've shot for before, but we know our community and we know what we can do when we come together. We don't think it's impossible. If our community effort can help save just one life, then all of this will be worth it. The events will take place between Friday, December 4th and Monday, December 7th, with each of us doing our own events and streams throughout our various channels. But all the money that is being raised throughout this streams will be going to one central page that is all interconnected between the four pillars and conversations. All the links to the page and all the channels involved will be found in the description so that you can get yourselves ready when this event rolls around next month. 
We'll give you guys more specific information closer to the time, so keep your eyes peeled for that. On the streams, there'll be a donation link in the description, which will take you to our fundraising page. All funds go directly to them and their cause. When you donate, we'll be able to check back during our stream, read through your names and messages, and thank everyone individually on stream. Every little helps. Whether one pound or 100, it all adds up to a great cause. We love doing charity events in this community, but this is easily the biggest and most ambitious we've done yet. Our community is the strongest I've seen when we come together for something like this, and I'm personally confident that we can smash the goal that we've set. So we're counting on our community to come together yet again for something so great, so important, and so personal to us. And we hope to see all of you guys there. So join us as we play some games, have a great time, and in the process, raise some money for a great cause. Let us all, as gamers, stand against cancer. Gamers 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 against cancer.